See, we know the White House has laid out its agenda. It's going to attack the Affordable Care Act first, repeal and replace, and then it's going to address tax reform. Where does financial re deregulation fit in? Well, f financial deregulation could happen with some speed uh, just at the regulatory agencies. And a lot of the comments from Jamie Dimon, he's talking about stress tests, he's talking about Basel, he's talking about capital rules. Congress doesn't really have to get involved in a lot of this stuff. And if you're Wall Street, you shouldn't want them to get involved because Congress is, as you pointed at the Affordable Care Act, taxes, it's going to be a long time before they get to Dodd-Frank. The problem for the Trump administration is that they're not being very quick in staffing these agencies. They have people dropping out for important jobs at the Federal Reserve, some of the most important jobs on financial regulation. People are saying they don't want to do them. So on some level, there's a bit of an unforced error with the Trump administration. They could be moving faster on deregulation at the regulatory agencies, and it's not happening. Hmm. So Jesse, is it then just sort of a, a matter of having bodies in the seats to work through the details of how they're actually going to be uh, repealing or changing Dodd-Frank and that type of stuff? Or can Gary Cohen and Steve Mnuchin and, and Mr. Trump, uh, President Trump, sit down and basically figure out you know, the, the path that they want to take and, and and push it off? Well, so the most important job in all of this is the vice chair of supervision at the Federal Reserve. We had one of the main candidates for this job drop out yesterday. Steve Mnuchin can make speeches, he can advocate policy, Gary Cohn can do the same, but that job at the Federal Reserve, that's the person who works with Basel, that's the person who works on Federal Reserve rules for bank regulation. Um, and, and there's an open question about why people don't want to do these jobs in the Trump administration. So there, on the one hand, people like Jamie Dimon are saying the sentiment is right, but putting the people in place on the ground in Washington to execute the sentiment, that's not happening. Mm. All right, well, we heard from Jamie Dimon, obviously. Um, he's a big voice for the banking industry. Let's listen to what Barney Frank, the co-writer of Dodd-Frank, had to say earlier this week toward David Gura. I do not think they will get any substantial legislative change through the Congress with the 60-vote requirement, except areas where there might be some agreement to give a little relief to mid-sized banks and, and smaller banks in ways that don't in any way undermine the regulatory framework. So Barty Frank doesn't see any changes on the horizon immediately. Jesse, in the absence of legislative changes, do we presume that regulators will just enforce less stringently? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things they can do. They can enforce less stringently. They can interpret things differently. The Volcker rule is a big case of that, that it can be interpreted differently. But there's only so much flexibility there, too. Um, you, if you want to wholesale do a rewrite of these rules, that's a very bureaucratic, time-consuming process. And that goes back to the point I was making. The sooner that Trump can, and Gary Cohn and Steve Mnuchin can get these agencies staffed, the sooner they can start that process. And, and they're not making a lot of headway on that. Jesse, there are a lot of investors who are waiting to see this sort of regulation change as we have observed in markets, financial companies rallying, a lot of expectations. So if you're an investor and you basically want to set up sort of a timeline to figure out, OK, when do I need to start and go and reset, reassess sort of my goals and the reality of my expectations for this type of overhaul, what are the dates? What are the, uh, what's the sort of timeline that they need to keep in mind here? Well, if you look at bank stocks, they trade as if it already happened. Right. Um, I think that a lot of that is on the expectation that it will happen. Um, I would say you're well into 2018 before we start to see major, major changes to financial rules, the, mm. the, 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 the Dodd-Frank Act.